So hard to mix K rent. I'm uh, gonna run through a few things. Obviously gonna need some clean water, some K rent, and a method and a way to mix it. You can put frost proofer in to speed up the setting costs, but if you do use frost proofer, you'll have to use the exact ratio of frost proofer to water to K rent in every mix or it can discolor it. This is a, a monocus render and it's going to be a scratch finish, like so. Scratch Mac Blastering! So, mixing K rent, and obviously it is just water followed by the powder, but there's a couple of wee things you just want to sort of follow. Um, you want to try and keep your consist consistency the same the whole way through. So, say it's taking you half a bucket of water, you'll want a full bag of K rent, say. Um, and this goes for Weber Monocus renders also, and some other renders that are on the market, colour coats, that you want to sort of keep your ratios the same the whole way through if you're mixing it this way and that'll keep your colour nice and true and also when you're applying it, straighten it, everything will, will go a wee bit smoother for you sort of similar to sand and cement and I know I talk about it in the wet dash videos that we have about sort of colours and stuff and again they will be in the future, there will be some small demos for wet dice to come so definitely subscribe for all those videos and um, you can see this bag just sort of failed on me there but try and wear a, a mask when you are mixing k -Rand. it's good that I'm outside and I'm staying away from where the dust is actually blowing most times but it's not great stuff to breathe in by any means so try and think about your safety and there was one time believe it or not when I was scratching it off and I got some in the eye and I can tell you that story I'll never forget it as I had to go to the hospital that night to actually think my wee sister came down with me and forced me to go to the hospital because my eye was that red and burning but as you can see this is the kind of consistency that I like and I do wet it up a bit more because I'm going to add some more powder and again another thing you should think about when you're mixing your k rains is what type of mixer are you doing it with a drill are you doing it with a drum mixer like myself here um, are you doing it with a big large sight mixer which will hold that bit more but at the same time you don't want to put too much in or it won't mix that good um, I think this is comfortably would hold two bags and a mix after that it may be getting a wee bit to the point where you're you're losing some but it will also mix better with that wee bit less in it as Karen and Weber the likes of these monocus renders are very very sticky and like dough so you want to sort of think about that and Nine times out of ten, I'm always doing these renders with a two coat pass, with followed by a close in or a wee wet bit over the top. But um, that'll all be scratched off after. Again, you can see it's just really add water. But after your first mix and you get the consistency you want, if you're doing anything big, you should keep note of how much water to per bag that you you did use and. You know, again, it's it's all about consistency. And what I was showing you is with the frost proofers, you can get accelerators for it. I personally don't bother, as I've always scratched off next day. And um, even on big large jobs, I've never never had any issues of not being able to scratch it off. A couple of jobs have been pretty sore on the arms, but um, it's to be expected with carrying that you're going to get sore arms one way or the other. So there's been a few times where it's been quite tough getting it scratched off but I've never really had an issue where I couldn't get it done even the time when it burnt my eye with a big bit of K-Rain that blew into it 
from the winds. So that was pretty exciting, but I still managed to get it scratched off. Um, as you can see, they're pretty pretty much at the texture that I wanted. I sort of like it that wee bit looser, so I can spread it. As I say, k not very easily hand applied. Um, as you can see, it's quite quite sticky stuff. Um, I know some people spray it, and a mate of mine, he was saying that he loves the spare because the mixes all come the same, because it's the exact same water to powder ratio that you're getting. But to me, I've always found it fine, even a couple of bigger jobs, not too bad, just drum mixing it. But, you know, it's it, it would be hard to go wrong with the fact that it is just clean, fresh water. That would be a must as well, that it always has to be clean, fresh water. Never, never, you know, use any dirty water to top it up or anything. And the likes of a brand new wheelbarrow, brand new tub, make sure the mixer is absolutely spotless, especially with colour coats. And your trials and that, your tools are all real, real clean. As you don't want any staining going into the K round from that. And if you want to get that pristine job, you, you sort of have to make that your setup your first day before you even mix is make sure everything's clean and spotless ready to go and um, that's just a rule of thumb for color coats and um, we'll be doing much more on k and um, the big long video we did there we'll, we'll break it down further again um, and there's some of the things why i'm doing things certain ways and that as well and again, even if you are mixing it with the drum mixer and you find it clumping up, you might want to turn the mixer off, make sure it's safe and just give the edges a wee quick scrape down and it might need another wee splash of water then and give it another couple of turns. You may find that it, it mixes a lot better then as well, just in case it's gone very powdery around the edges. Um, and again, you want to make sure it's well mixed through. You don't really want to under mix your K round as you can get wee dry lumps through it. And what they'll do is if you don't notice them when you're coating, when you're rubbing back, they'll come out like a, a wee chalky chalk mark. Almost looks like a wee bit of plasterboards get into the mix somehow. But basically that's what that is, is a wee bit of powder that's been trapped in like a, a water bubble basically, or maybe it's a powder bubble. And when you come to scratch out, you'll you'll see these chalky bits, and they're just not they're just basically bits that have never been mixed right through. So again, clean shovels, clean buckets, clean tools. If you're going to use a board, you might want to really, really have it scraped down and clean as ballast first before you you go ahead with your carry end on it, as you know one one big mucky bit on on a wall through and you'll be scraping that all back off and starting again and the product isn't the cheapest product as just anybody who does it will know anybody who's bought it will know and again wash the mixer out after you use the carry end would be a big must as well guys so i think i've covered everything on the mixing and the sort of that side of things so I'll catch you on the next one